What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to convert your old fluorescent light fixture to accept LED bulbs and really brighten up your room. So if you guys are new to my channel, please do me a favor, click the subscribe and notification bell so you can get all my new videos. Alright, let's get to this one. So today we're going to be working on converting these fixtures in the kitchen to LED. We already finished this one, but we're going to convert this one. Now it's great to convert to these LED bulbs because not only will you get brighter, you'll have lower power consumption, and you're not going to have to deal with recycling these old toxic style tubes. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn off the breaker to this light fixture. Then you're going to want to make sure that the light switch is off to that fixture. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to take the old tubes out. So all you do is grab it and twist it towards you. And it's going to pop out of each side. So I'll show you down here. We just twist towards us. And it pops out. Drop them out. Okay, now if we check under here, there's going to be one of these little clips like this usually. Give it a twist with your fingers or you can use your pliers if it's stuck. And then we should be able to remove this cover. The cover just drops out from the one side. So if we look under here, we can check out the wiring. Now this is the ballast. This is what regulates the power for the fluorescent lights. Now if you've noticed that your lights have gone out or they start flickering, check the bulbs first, but second is going to be this ballast because this is what goes out all the time. So one of my ballasts broke on one of these, so that's why I'm doing this conversion. But we're going to go ahead and take our electrical tester. This is just a voltage tester. I'll go ahead and put links down in the description to one of these, as well as the other tools and supplies and the bulbs we're going to be using. And we're going to check all these wires to make sure no voltage is going through. Make sure that our power is indeed turned off. It's always a good idea to double check. All right, so we know the power's off, so we'll go ahead and move these wires out of the way. So the method we're gonna be using today is gonna to be bypassing this ballast. There is another method where you leave the ballast and use bulbs, but the problem with that is you're still relying on this ballast that uses quite a bit of electricity. Plus, with the method I'm showing you, you don't have to worry about this going out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut these wires a little ways off, so if anyone ever wanted to reuse this, they could. And the same thing on this side. Now you can leave that ballast, but I'm just going to go ahead and take it out since we're not going to be using it anyways. So we just unscrew one little Phillips bolt right here. And the whole ballast just comes out. It's pretty heavy, so be careful. Okay, so now we'll just pull down this little bundle of wires. We've got four little wires. We're going to take our wire strippers. We're going to strip all four of these little wires. Let's pull the insulation right off. Just need to pull off about a half an inch of that insulation. Okay, then we've got these two yellow ones coming from the end. We're going to strip these. And we're going to strip our power and our neutral wires too. Okay, now the white wire and the two yellow wires coming off the end, we're going to take those. We're going to put all three wires together, give them a twist clockwise. And use my pliers. Then we're going to take a wire net and we're going to put that on and you just turn that on clockwise too. You just spin it onto those wires until it gets nice and tight. So we've got the two from the end and we've got it going to our neutral. It doesn't matter which side we connect to which. Then we're going to take our black wire. We're going to do the same thing but we're going to connect that to those four wires coming out of the other side. So see, we're just basically bypassing that old ballast. That'll just ensure a better connection. We'll take our wire nut, and that goes on clockwise as well. That's why we do them both clockwise, so you don't back it out when you twist this on. Tightens it up nice. 
There we go. So once again, we've got our black running right here to the four wires on that end. Got them all going to one wire cap. Then we've got the wires, the yellow wires on that one coming to our white wire right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter which one's going to which side. Then we'll take our wires. I'm just gonna bend them, give them a little twist on it themselves, just so that they'll tuck up nicely underneath that cover. Now this conversion is gonna work on either T8 or T12 size fluorescent bulbs. These happen to be the T8 size. So here are our LED bulbs and they do have a clear cover on them. Now if your fixtures are exposed and they're not covered with a diffuser like I have here in the kitchen, you can get these LED ones with the white covering as well, so the built-in diffuser. Now there are different types of these LED bulbs. These are double-ended bulbs. That means they have the power that comes in from both sides. These are the kind that are gonna work with the bypassing the ballast like we're doing. So I'll make sure I go ahead and put links in the description to the ones that are gonna work with this method for you guys. But we'll take one and before we put that cover in, we're gonna slip one in and these go in the same way as the old ones. The little pins right here, slip in, push it up and then give it a twist. Flip your breaker on and we'll go ahead and test it. All right, so it's working. So now we can go ahead and flip it off. Go ahead and turn this and pull this back out. Okay, so now we can put that cover on and as you can see, this end just slips into the one end. It slips in and we can push that cover. Make sure when you put this cover on that you're not pinching any of your wires. Then you're gonna give that little thing a twist 90 degrees to lock it in. Okay, then we can go ahead and put our bulbs in, twist them. Just twist them uh, 90 degrees. Then we can go ahead and test it again. All right, they are all working and they're super bright. So you can get these different brightnesses, but you can also get them different color temperatures. See, these ones are more blue, so that they're daylight. This bulb right here, as you can see, it's more yellow, so that's more warm tone. You can get them more warm like that, or you can get a more bright daylight like this. But that's it guys, that's how to convert your fluorescent lights to LED conversion. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can get my new videos. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching Johnny DIY. Keep on doing it yourself guys. Take care.